So guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video here. And I am here in my Dino A Day review series, and I am here to show you today about the Dung Beetle. Now, the Dung Beetle is a very, very useful team. Now, if you're not using any of like, the little tricks and glitches and stuff like that in order to get dung, or you don't have access to a toilet, which is how you do those tricks or glitches, meet the Dung Beetle. Now, what the Dung Beetle is really good at is using dung to make fertilizer. Now, he's also a great access for early oil for some people, and incredibly easy to tame. His kibble is actually human poo-poo, and then medium-sized poo-poo, which is also very nice because you can collect that pretty easily early game. There is no level requirement, there's no saddle, there's no anything. So it's an easy tame to come across and gather. So what do you do with these guys? First and foremost, I have some poop. <clears throat> I have a lot of poop. Now you're going to level this guy in pure weight. These are 150 perfect tames, and they are not breedable, so this is about the maximum you're ever going to see weight-wise on these things. And uh, that's just that. They don't have any other purpose than poo-poo. And I'll just put some poo-poo on them just to show you. So what you do, pick them up. Throw them inside the cage. Now before he starts walking around trying to get out, close the cage door. You're going to need some wooden cages in case you haven't figured that out yet. What I usually do is while he's in there, do not open the door. But what you want to do, enable wandering. As soon as you enable wandering, he is going to begin producing us fertilizer. Now, as you can see, you can only get a little bit of poop on these things unless you're using a special trick that I'll talk about in just a second. So we're going to level this guy in weight just so you can see about 50 is their max. So they can actually hold quite a bit of poop without doing any sort of trick or anything like that. Put that guy in there. Close the dough. Not hold the dough. Close the dough. So, again, we're going to set them on Enable Wandering, and when they are in Enable Wander, they will continue, but they're stuck inside the cage. There's nothing they can do to get out. And they will produce two fertilizer per medium poop. Medium poop is the most effective thing. There are other ways to go about this, but I really encourage you to use medium poop. <clears throat> so, let's talk about this last strategy. So what you're going to do is you are going to quite literally lock yourself in this cage with this guy. Now, you're going to leave all of the poop on your... I'm not actually going to do this, but if you've ever seen my video, I've got a couple that uh, show you how to do this trick. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to use a little bit of a glitch. Not necessarily a glitch, just a part of the game. You can have as much poop on you as you want, and he will never be encumbered if you do this. So, basically load yourself up with all your poop. Take all of your armor off. And what you're going to do is you're going to set him to aggressive. And then you're going to set him on wander. And then you're going to unclaim him. And when you do that, he is going to attack you. Now, when he does attack you, what he is going to end up doing, and I'm not going to do this, just watch the other video if you're curious about it, because I don't want these two freaking out over here. He is going to basically pick up everything off of your body, your, literally everything. So if you've got anything else on there, which includes your armor, C4, fiber, all that stuff, he will pick that up. Now, he will pick up every last ounce of it and not be encumbered. So you can have three, four, five hundred pieces of feces, and he will produce fertilizer from all of them. And that is a beautiful way to use this dung beetle, um, and it's just a great way to do it. Unfortunately, other than making fertilizer, dung beetles don't really have a purpose. I wish they did. I, I do, because they are... I feel like, I mean, in my opinion, they have kind of like a unique opportunity to, I don't want him to be on aggressive anymore. Let's change him to passive and then disable wandering in there. So you can pick him up through the door and then throw him, but it's just not suggested to do it that way. So they can be unique little creatures. They are also super cool looking because they get these like funky colors to them, but you know, to each their own. So anyways, other than that, if you've never seen that trick, go ahead and check out that video. But dung beetles really only have that one specific use. They do have chitin, so they take a little bit of reduce damage from bullets, but nothing like substantial. All right. Well, anyways, other than that, this is the Dino A Day review series on the Dung Beetle and Teacher's Game 2. Out.